And so, oh, so little bro. Kind of. Oh my God, Ronnie. New VVs on my wrist, new watch this on I step. Ho screaming when I walk into the house. Damn, where Autumn Nights comes and she dances for what was it, fifty dollars and a, a, a plate of some good food. <laughs> yes, that was that was the trophy. <laughs> it's such a remarkable dance in that it allows us to begin to understand the backstory of Miss Autumn Nights, this mysterious woman who has, you know, arrived to the shores of the pink. Oh man, that first. First season, first episode, scary. Stepping out, you know, in character, but also as myself with this huge, cause we, we have um, a background that fill the space. So uh, yeah, it was, it was really nerve wracking, very scary. And you know, the dance isn't like groundbreaking. I think we all saw that, um, but it is a moment for this character. And it is, it is the time where, where the audience can first see this, who is this like, who is this woman? What is what is going on? What are these flashes? Do we get to see more of it? So yeah, it was it was definitely a scary moment for me and also for for the character. Throw the bitches up in the air for the most luxurious boot around these parts. She a whole celebrity, y'all. Welcome to Mercedes. So this is what we call Mercedes Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so Miss Mercedes, she is the headliner. She is uh, the person who helped Uncle Clifford build the pink. Like people come from miles and miles away to see the Mercedes dance and you know, she just looks like a superwoman on the pole, and you really understand why she is Uncle Clippers, a bottom B. Hard, okay, um, hard, intimidating, but beautiful. I, you know, Katori wrote that you know she's this super hero in a sense, but I don't think I felt it until actually hearing the stage, and and you you see that. The, the crowd and the roar and just like that energy with Mercedes. Um, very difficult and lots of training. Um, amazing um, choreographer, Jamaica Craft, um, I believe took exactly what Katori wrote and put it right there on the camera for you. So it, it was beautiful but hard. It was also so dope to just hear like and experience the work that goes into it, you know, cause we were um, listening to the music and, you know, it was rocking and everything like that. But then to hear Mercedes actually get so exasperated and, and the breath and the strength that it took to, to hoist yourself up and to be upside down and skywalk and, and, and the gangster walk on the ceiling and all that stuff. So that was, as an experience, it was just like, yes, I love that. <laughs> That moment when the sound drops out, I remember seeing that for the, for, for the first time and going, oh, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the moment of letting the audience know that this is hard work. This, this is an act. Yeah. This is not just fun and easy at all. That whole subject experience of the breath going out, we discovered that in the post-production process because in season one, we actually could not get our camera up as high up on the pole so that we could like really be up in, inside of the dance with the dancers. So in post, I just remember being like, how are we going to make people understand like how hard this work is? And so me and my post producer, we put our heads together. We were like, oh my God, we just need to drop out the sound and that'll immediately put ourselves up on the pole with uh, the great Mercedes. The Trinidad. So the Trinity dance is a, a night where we see our three top dancers come together. It's Mercedes, it's Miss Mississippi and Gidem Gidget combining their elemental forces and taking us to the sky. It's also a moment where we see our dear Autumn Night being like, wait a minute, y'all can't be having all the fun now. <laughs> too. And it's so cool about this particular dance was that 
it incorporated dance and stunt work and it pushed the narrative forward in such a beautiful way because you know we began to see how troubled autumn was dealing with drinking and really wanting to be a part of this sisterhood that was up on the phone it was so visually dynamic i've never seen anything like that before and i had i had um caught a still of it like just pausing the tv and just just seeing it and you're like how the heck is Gidget upside down like what is holding her up yeah. that was the part that was like how how did this ha- I mean Keyshawn's like laying flat and you have Mercedes up top and then Gidget's completely upside down and the pole is just like right there on her armpit and it just looks absolutely insane and watching it on TV and just the reaction from people on Twitter. Um, it was just an iconic moment. Really, really, really cool. Oh, Trinity, I loved it. I just remember um, speaking to our choreographer, Jamaica Kraft, about the different crazy elements of stunts that her and Katori had talked about, um, which were beautiful. And then they brought in amazing you know, assistant choreographers and doubles as well to help us with that. But it was not easy for anyone. Um, you know, you watching your double do it way better than you, which is beautiful. But then you got to come up and act like Ellarica said, and you know, convey that same strength as as well because these ladies do this daily. It's it's their job. But it was it was very difficult. But it's one of my favorite performances with the Trinity. I loved it. Uh, can I just say, hey, just watching that, watching the girls and how hard they worked, that dance was incredible. Like, <clears throat> you know, like it's a lot, a lot of work to, for the training, you know, for the strength, for all of it to then also be acting at the same time. Like this show is not easy and the girls are just incredible. Me, on the other hand, did some crazy training, but literally just had to do some not so good um, uh, dancing on the pole. And then majority of it was stunt work. And and that in itself is so technical. So I think the actual experience, being there, seeing it, being a part of it was was great. And then to watch it back, um, I mean, it's comical, but it's also a moment for the audience, again, like you said, Katori, to see, you know, how troubled this lady is. My little titty and fat. I don't know what y'all going to do. I, God, I'll do it. You sure? There's lots of people out there. Yeah, I'm sure. This was a dance that nobody saw coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was our midpoint episode of season one. And, you know, from the jump, Mercedes was been saying she going to have her last dance. She retiring. She retiring. And then the events to end all events happened and her mama stole her money for her drink. <laughs> and so she's not at the paint. And the, it's like, who is going to go on for Beyonce? Who going to go on? And lo and behold, little Beyonce steps on out, Miss Mississippi, and she takes on the stage and what's the, the most beautiful thing I or one of the, another beautiful thing about the moment is that it's Lamurda's song. It's to Lamurda's song that he wrote for and about Uncle Clifford. And so narrative wise, it's one of my favorite moments of the season because you just see how dance and cinematography and storytelling all kind of combined in this one moment that's so explosive and, um, you know, uh, just catapults everyone into completely different directions for the rest of the season and quite frankly, the rest of the series. The night when uh, Keyshawn goes on for Mercedes, that is the night that changes everything. And that is the moment where Mississippi and Lil Murda's lives kind of merge Mm -hmm. and they go on this really beautiful journey together. And they begin this business partnership, which turns into this really beautiful um, brother sisterly bond. And it's the birth of some like really, really dope music. Keyshawn and Lil Murder's relationship and, and more so even the show too. It's like one of those roller coasters where they send out two carts at the same time 
and then one is kind of gone. They both may reach a peak sometime, and they shoot this way, and you cross over. So you you have this incredible way of sending people on a singular journey, but still having it feeling different, you know, at the same time. And so definitely one of my favorite scenes and seeing Keyshawn be elevated in that way. And then Lil Murder obviously having his moment where he finally hears his song played. And so for me as a performer, being on stage and seeing these of my lovely castmates, um, you know, have so much strength and power in what it is that they're doing and seeing their stunt doubles and everybody come together to um, make this one journey that's kind of broken apart to be a part, you know? And so it's really dope. And then for me, I just got to watch my head, you know, as long as I don't get kicked by anybody, nothing like that, we performing, I'm good. So it's, uh, it's really cool to see. Oh, love.